Hello and welcome back to the Consistory of the Coke YouTube channel. I'm your host for this video, Reverend Jake Zabel, the St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church located in Dolby, Queensland, Australia. Today we're going to be addressing the heresy of the Samos Martins. So who on earth are Samo Martins? Well, this is again one of those Trinitarian Unitarian Monarchianism heresies. So in our previous videos, we've been discussing the different categories of Trinitarian heresies. There are the tritheist heresies that think there are three gods, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, each being three different divine beings. There are the Unitarian heresies, those who believe in one God, but also teach that there is only one person rather than one God, three persons but then they can be broken up into different um, heresies themselves. There are the Arian heresies, uh, there are also, which that you could include the Eunomians, who just believe that the Father alone is God and the Son and the Spirit are not God. There are the Partialist heresies that believe that there is one God, one person, but that that one person is divided into three parts. And then there are the Monarchian heresies. Those that believe there is one God, one person, one part, one divine monarchy, but how do we understand that divine monarchy is different? In our last video we discussed Sabellianism, also known as modalism, which teaches that there is one God, there is one person, he is in one part, but that there are three different modes. And now we're going to look at the Samomatines. These are the followers of the second century heretic Paul of Samosata. Um, I think they named it after the place. This heresy is named after the place rather than the person, probably because you couldn't call it Paulinism or Paulinism because there's Saint Paul and so this would be very confusing. So they just named it after the area that he came from. Paul of Samosata believed that there was one God, one person, one being, but that the word or the second person, this great Logos, is the voice of God and that the spirit of God is the soul of God. Just as man has a soul, the Holy Spirit is God's soul. Now, What's interesting is that the Samaritan teens are often thrown into the category of the monarchianism, that they, they're monarchianists, but to me they sound actually more like partialists. Because the, it sounds like partialism. Except I, I, I think the main reason it's not partialism is that partialism chops God into three different equal parts. This kind of has three different parts, but they're all parts of the one being. They're not three different beings, they're one being. It's just that there's there's one God, one person, but that when we refer to the Word, we're just talking to God's voice, and when we refer to the, the Spirit, we're just talking to God's soul. So, again, it, it also nearly falls back into the category of Arianism, where Arius believed that there was one person, the Father, and that the Son and the Spirit weren't divine at all, they were creations of the Father. Uh, the Samaritans are, are, are kind of like Arius in the fact that they believe there is one person, the Father, and that the, the Son or Logos, the Voice, and the Holy Spirit, the Spirit, are kind of products of that one person, the Father. But the difference is, is that, again, Arius would say that the Son and the Spirit are not divine, whereas the, the Samos teens would say the Son and the Spirit are divine because they are divine parts and products of the Father. So I think it's, it's actually, it's quite significant that we kept the Samos teens for their own video because they're a very weird Unitarian heresy. The Samos teens are often categorized underneath the Monarchian heresies alongside the modalists. But they are a lot closer to like the the partialists and the Arians, but they're not the same. So this is the thing, the Samaritan teens, they're Monarchians, but they're not Monarchians in the same way that the modalists are Monarchians. And they're also the Samaritan teens are partialists, but they're not partialists in the same way that the partialists are. And they are kind of like Arius 
but they're not fully like the Aryans. And so th this is where the Samaritan Mateen's era is this weird kind of mixture of Aryanism, partialism and and monarchianism all kind of blended together into one great heresy. The Samaritans, they are a weird heresy, but essentially for them God is like a giant man and that God the Son is just his voice and God the Holy Spirit is just his soul. That is the Samaritans era. Now in the Book of Concord it condemns the Samaritans both old and new by old, they mean the followers of Paul of Samosata. By new, they're referring to a particular group of heretics, uh, generally those among like the Anabaptists and that, who had started to readopt this Samosmotines heresy as part of their um, their doctrine. So there were people in the Reformation period who were now promoting this Samosmotines uh, heresy, and so the Lutherans reject both the old Samaritan teens and also those present at the time of the Reformation. So hope that helps explain uh, what the era of the Samaritan teens is. I've been your host Reverend Jake Zabel. Goodbye and God bless.